Yes, it's episode 67. Uh, and tonight we're going back to my youth. Uh, the second console. Mm, technically the third, but proper consoles. This was my second console. Uh, we're going to look at the ColecoVision again. I know we've done the ColecoVision before, but we're doing unplayed ColecoVision this time. And uh, we're going to take... A look at um, 11 random games picked by me just scrolling through tiles and um, picking a few uh, so yes um, before we get started then I suppose well maybe maybe it's more of a something during the show but anyway the the collector vision uh, 1983, 2, 3, mm, 3, 1983, 4, 5, um, was innovative for its time. Um, it came with Donkey Kong, which felt like it was an arcade replica. Uh, it wasn't, but it felt like that to us, uh, especially after you'd seen uh, Pac-Man on the Atari 2600. And... Um, it promised a, a arcade quality graphics for the arcade of the time. Um, but it also came with lots of different plugins and controllers. I know we've spoken about it before, but one of the main selling points for me was the fact that it had a box that plugged in the front, which was basically an Atari 2600. So all your old cartridges that you had for the Atari 2600, you could now play on your ColecoVision. Winner. Um, but it also had uh, a roller controller, you know, like a, a, a trackball, uh, as we call it now. And um, a whole bunch of games that supported that. It, um, it also had, had these. Ugh. This has been sat back here for a, for a few weeks now. This is uh, a ColecoVision Super Action Controller. Uh, so, it's, it's got like the number pad like all ColecoVision controllers have. And it's got uh, a proper joystick. And can you see the buttons in here? It's got four buttons, twice as many as the original uh, controller. And... Um, and a spinner. Can't you remember what the spinner did? But anyway, um, so yeah, these obviously sold separately, of course. Um, but like uh, Rocky's Action Boxing had different. Each button did a different thing, and it was. Uh, they they were quite brilliant when they first came out. It's like wow, this is great. Uh, so there you go. That's that's the ColecoVision Super Action controller. Um, we won't be playing any of those because um, it's difficult to map all the different buttons in a separate config for uh, for OpenMU. So let's put this back over here, and you could also buy a steering wheel for it as well. So. Um, so that's enough jibber jabber. Shall we get on and play some games? Maybe I should switch my con uh, my controller on. Maybe, probably help. There we go. It's on. Uh, right. So, like I say, randomly picked and in alphabetical order for a change, perhaps. But I can't be here and play games. I've got to be over there. So let's do that. Whoop, there we go. And and if you look there, that is the Clecker Vision. You see, that's standard Clecker Vision with um with its cat with its flat joystick keypad in front of it. And um if you zoom zoom in really zoom in and there's no point in me pointing at it with the mouse because you won't be able to see it but if you zoom in at the front you can see the slot the expansion slot for putting it in so anyway where are we starting where are we starting with uh 
Antarctic Adventure um, be begins with A. And let's, uh, let's get you a screen. So I've not checked any of these out. Um, I'm looking through the list. And there's, I think there's only two that I remember having um, and playing. So we'll have to see when we get to them. Um, and even if I have played, I'm still probably going to be rubbish at them, just so you know. But you're not surprised, are you? No. Right. Okay, that seems quite widescreen for a clicker vision. What's going on? Um, okay, let's get the screen for Arctic Adventure. Where are you? Do, do, I've got lots of windows open. There we go. Anta Antarctic. Did I Have I been saying Arctic? I don't think I have, but Antarctic Adventure. Oh, Konami. Okay. Push any key. Let's do it. Okay. So am I supposed to avoid the water and the... Oh. Am I supposed to get the flags? Yep. Well, I can't get quick enough to get the flags. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. I can jump. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Shit. So, oh. Oh, was that it? Whoa. Holy moly. Right, okay. Let's, let's uh, I didn't even press a button. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Jump too early. So, um, off the top of our heads is what? Am I actually playing this? very possible I might not have been playing that uh, you, maybe you are supposed to get the fish naughty cluster maybe you are well I'm jumping when it I'm I'm contra I am controlling it oh wow it seems to be going very fast So we have got fish jumping out at us. Oh. It doesn't seem to be any startings and stoppings with this. I press I press a key. I don't press a key. I mean, it's definitely... <laughs> I'm making it move left and right. But... It just does seem to end. No, like that. It just seems to... I, I didn't die then. What's going on? What is going on? Let's do a refresh. Now we're getting music. So I wonder if it lets you play like the the, the attract mode? I don't know. That's weird. Does feel like I'm actually playing it now. Although 
they did before. Can't jump over the seals. Checked if you're getting audio on this, I assume you are. I assume it's loud enough. time so do I need to travel faster so it's basically it's like a racing game isn't it it's um it's like outrun or some such So I control how fast it goes. Oh, I wish I... Oh, I can jump then. So I keep falling for that. I keep thinking there's enough room to get around them and there's not. where you have to go a bit faster than you'd like so that you can meet the time deadline. go um oh. Oh, oh, oh it's one of those where i'm not sure how the other games are going to go and i know what to do with this one so let's just have another crack Deal. Ah, yeah. time if you get the flags. I'll never know. Oh, 
on, get in there. Oh, made it to Australia. Ah, uh, the Australian outpost, I imagine, not... Right, flags are just points by the looks of it. Come on, it's trying to trap me now. seem to be pulling to the right a little bit. I wonder if that's because I was on a corner. Couldn't jump fast enough then. seals down here time's running out we're not going to make it especially not running into little crevices oh well there we go An Antarctic adventure Yes, you may be singing that song uh, for the rest of the night, but it's very possible there might be even worse songs ahead of us. Who knows? Because um, there is definitely a whole bunch of um, catchy deities in your future. Uh, now, weirdly... I seem to have picked um, three, three from this uh, from this publisher interface, um, which is weird. Uh, but this is the first one of those. This is called Aquatac. Um, in fact, let me make that a tiny bit smaller. And this tiny bit bigger for you guys. Um, yeah, no idea. Let's go, shall we? Let's see what we've got. Oh. Well, oh, where am I shooting? Right, so I've got two fire buttons and the fire different directions. By the looks of it, nope. Okay. Uh, okay, right. So we've got a distance score and we've got a point score. Okay, right. So. We need to work out the controls, really. Or we need to know how to make it work again. Also. Okay. We'll just restart it each time. Ah, <sighs> right. don't 
really know how the firing works. So, again, I am controlling it. We have started it, but it seems to have autom autonomous firing. Okay, so I shot a tank then. So how do I shoot upwards? I think it just changes. Does it? Or do I have to... Night time. I can't make it shoot upwards, and I'm not sure why. Weird. Okay. See, and this is why we played the last one a little longer because I can't see us spending as much time on this one. Especially as we can't seem to restart it. Come on, you bugger. I'm just having a look in the control options to see if there's some way of... So, I can... I can map the number pad to like shoulder buttons and stuff like that um but that isn't making a whole lot of difference to the um no oh, stop it stop it i wish i'd not bothered now There we go, let's just leave it like that and carry on. Um, all right, well, let's have one more go and see if we can work out the shooting. And if not, we'll move on. Shoot that by the looks of it. Just took too much damage. So I think it, I think it automatically decides if it's shooting up or shooting down, depending on what's on the screen. But I think that's probably. Um, gonna do it for aqua attack i'm not really not really feeling aqua attack um oh what's in the chat oh nutty clusters getting insta messages right well as she's put it in the chat she obviously wants everybody to know um that she's on on insta um and she wants everybody to follow her and uh chat interesting um okay so i'm sure we've got better games um to play so we'll move on to our next one shall we um oh now she's telling me she, she put it in the didn't she everybody she put it in the chat she was getting insta messages assumed that you must all want to know or she wanted you all to know shall i say okay interface again another another interface one. let's hope the interface ones aren't all the same quality shall we blockade runner i feel that like i recognize the name blockade runner and we're gonna find out
Okay, whoa, whoa, what have we got going on here? Let's fly away from the debris for a second. I don't appear to have shooty shooters. Oh, that's interesting. Right, so what we're doing at the moment is we're playing um, a game huh, that has an overlay, which means all the number buttons do something. Um, and if you can't use all the numbers, then you um, it might be a bit stuffed. I've got one and two mapped, so we can use number one and number two. We seem, they both seem to do the same, so I'm hoping the rest of them do the same sort of thing. Um, and we're flying. I, it, I mean, is this just you do the same thing? I mean, I know I shouldn't say. Oh, you're doing the same thing over again, because this is the age that all the games you did all the same and, and it got harder and harder but we are um, we're obviously flying through some sort of asteroid field but why right so that if you notice the bottom left there's some sort of uh, sorry the bottom right there's some sort of plunger control that goes up and down that I can control with the buttons. But I'm not actually sure what it, it, it is. Is it thrust? Oh, it's, it's thrust, right. So the buttons control the speed that I go. And the number pad controls the firing. Oh, that would have been a nightmare to play with a controller for a Clicker Vision. This is not one of the games I had as a child. Um, don't really know what the point is. I mean, I, was, I guess we're running blockades. And are we shooting? Do we need to shoot that? I can't catch it. I can't catch it. Can he give her any more, Captain? I don't, I don't really know. I don't know what's going on. I think we're kind of working it out. So when I move left and right, we get the little boosters coming out of the left and right. When I move back, we slow down. Do we slow down? No, we don't slow down. So we're probably moving in 3D space. I don't seem to be limited on the amount of missiles I have. Well, I got that spaceship. It does look like a distance thing. The further that I fly, the more... I don't know. We've got no shield and we've got no... fuel. So are we just floating in space, firing unlimited missiles? And I don't know, why am I not dead? Oh, why am I dead? Mission one failed. So, so, are we supposed to clear mines, are we? I mean, I shot something. I thought it was an enemy ship, but there's not an enemy ship on there. So look, you see what I mean? It says press five to, to play. Now, I wish I'd brought you a, a, a ColecoVision stick to um, <laughs> to give, a new, give you an idea of what it looks like. It looks a little bit like Zoop Controller and it's flat. Um, yeah, yeah, no more blockade runner. No more blockade runner. Um... But that does raise the question of what other games we might have picked that had uh, that had overlays 
that plug in. Um, so on the on the main controller, they they slide in the bottom and go over the keypad. So the the numbers that you can see on the keypad get covered up. Whereas on on the super controller, obviously a totally different shape. Ah, oh, they they just clip in here and here. And then you just, these are the buttons that you press. So. Bugger. Um, okay. Well, this is what happens when you play, um, you play games with different controllers, original controllers. So what I'm hoping to do at some point is have adapters so that if we ever do like, a ColecoVision one again. I can actually play it with a real ColecoVision controller and see what we get. Who who knows if it's going to work right? But let's see what we get. Um, okay, let's move on. Let's move on. We're going to move into G now, and we're going to play Gust Buster. Um, oh, oh, the first of two games by Sunrise Software. Um, which we'll be playing tonight. And let's have a look. There it is. Told you you'd get another one stuck in your brain. Okay, so let's press number one. Select balloons. Oh, here we go again. By one. Pump the right. Okay, so we pick we pick a balloon with a number pad. That's with this hand on the keyboard at the moment. And then we pump the right fire button or the left fire button. Okay, okay, let's do it then. Let's do it then. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is good. It's going to be awkward. One, three, five, odd numbers. So we should be all right. Let's let's try in. Oh no! You blow the wrong way if you inflate it. The wind changes. If you inflate it too much. Am I gonna get over that now? Cause I'm sure I'm gonna have to get under something in a minute. I'm gonna have to deflate all these. Fireworks. See? Oh no! Deflated and then <sighs> This takes far too much dexterity for this time of night. Holy crap. Right, okay, let's... Oh. <laughs> is there an easy way of playing this? I don't think there is, you know. Um, okay, let's have another go. Okay. Perhaps if I don't pick my joypad up, 
and just keep my fingers on the right buttons. Shit. enough it's not enough it's not enough I need all four balloons for that one pump 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 full that right three five no why did you not Ah, oh, it's not five then, is it? It's one, three, seven, and nine. I keep doing that. How am I gonna? <laughs> how am I gonna get this now? Um. <laughs> that was inauspicious, wasn't it? Right. One. Three, seven, nine, not nine, not that, too far, too far. Okay, I need, <laughs> got my, I need to get my buttons the right direction. Okay. No, no, no way going that way. Oh, Jesus. What do you mean, calm down, dear? Oh, shit. That's going to squirt out at me. Oh. oh. Jackass. Oh, it's one of those games, though, that I feel I've got to have another go. Oh. Tell you what, let's have a drink. Can you imagine if we were playing level two or three? Jesus. Right, one, three, seven, and nine. One, three, seven, and nine. Here we go. Okay, start deflating now. Start, no, deflate. That's it, deflate, deflate. Seven, deflate. Get under those fireworks that are coming in a second. Do we deflate another one just in case? They all seem a little higher. That's fine. Let's keep seven on then. Right, seven, nine. No, nine. You can't have them all filled. That's annoying. Okay. Let's come back down just in case. An airfield? Where the bloody hell are we? Ooh. Come back down. Oh, oh.
Hey, look at that, we've got a bonus. Right. So we're still on nine, still on nine. Can't get any higher though. You have to get higher to get over this. Then we sit back down again. Switch to seven. Come down a bit lower, because we're coming to fireworks again, are we? Yes, we are. Ooh. Okay. All right, so far so good. Let's just get a little bit higher. I'm sure that's gonna squirt out of me. Ah, no, no, no. Oh. You need quick reactions to switch to your different numbers. One. Three. Seven. Nine. Can we get one more? Oh, we perhaps need two more. Yeah, we do. So as long as we're careful, we only need to be concentrating on balloons seven and nine. Now is that too low? Should I just be a little bit higher so my legs don't catch the fireworks sign? Okay, so there's some trees. Yeah, let's get over the trees. Right, none of the things actually. Oh, what's that? Someone was flying out at me then. Let's get as low as we can so we don't get planed. Oh! I'm glad it didn't pop that because I wouldn't have been do, do anything about it. Okay. Oh. Okay, now we need to come down for the fireworks. But not so low that we bump into the fireworks sign. Oh shit. Bugger. Uh, right, well, there you go. That was Gust Buster. A weird, a weird. <laughs> I, I, I can't think of any games with that sort of um, gameplay. And is it giving me the points because it thinks I've stopped playing? Yeah, I think it has. Oh no, it's giving me more balloons and a new life. Um, well, there you go. Gus Buster. I didn't, didn't dislike that. Um, I'm just curious if you're playing it with the joypad. Yeah, it, well, it probably would be easier because your hands would be together and you'd be doing the numbers with this hand on the pad. And using the deflate and and inflate with these fingers. Ah, oh, wow. Uh, okay, let's move on, shall we? Um, so our next our next uh, game is on this list because although I normally pick them at random, uh, I listened to a podcast the other day with the guy that created it. And I knew it was Parker Brothers, and I knew 
it was released on all the consoles. So when I saw it on the list for Clecavision, I thought, let's have a look. I don't actually remember playing it. it. Doesn't mean I haven't played it. I just don't remember playing it. There's a difference. Um, so let's have a looky look. Let's make it fit the telly. There we go. Actually, it's a little bit low. Ah, sod it, it'll do. Um, let's have a look. Okay. We're platforming, baby. So. I guess we... Oh. Oh, wow, we moved really quick. You have to be so careful. <laughs> Why won't you go downstairs? Come on. Oh, so at least now that... Oh, am I going to catch my head on there? Well, I can't duck, so I hope not. Right, so, one assumes that I can unlock one of these, I can, right, I'm going to die over this snake, aren't I, yeah, yeah I am, oh, look at that, oh, so you can't, oh, he moved, Move so quick. Look at his little feet. Oh. He's, he's walked off the edge before you've got a chance to do anything. I can't make him go down. The ladder is the end of that sentence. Oh, I keep thinking you can just drop off. Gosh darn it. Oh, do you get a con You get a continue. Holy fucking shirt balls. Okay. Um. Oh, <laughs> oh. Right. Come on, fella. Oh, you asshole. Okay. Okay, how am I supposed to... I'm supposed to do it that way. Right. Stop with your little shuffling feet. God damn it. Okay. So far, so good. Now. Oh, I'm... Oh, you bastard. <laughs> oh. At least, at least, right, I'm super impressed that it, um, I've got the keys, and even though I died, I still had the keys. I like that. In a game of, of this vintage, it's unusual. Oh, well, where am I supposed to go? I've got the keys. There's nowhere to unlock down here, though. Um, okay, well, we have to have another go at that, don't we? Parker Brothers presents... So... Take. Oh, and again, <laughs> he commits suicide before I have a chance to press the f jump button. Oh dear. Oh, 
He ain't no Indiana Jones, is he? So, we went right last time, so I'm just wondering if this time, if we can make it across these platforms without dying horribly, that we should... Um... <laughs> we should unlock this side and see what we got in. Ooh. Ooh, there's a lot going on here, isn't there? Right. How the criminies am I supposed to get any of this? It feels like as soon as I jump on it, it's going to disappear. Oh, or, or maybe I'm just going to fall into the fire and disappear myself. Oh, and again. Jesus, fella. <laughs> oh, my God. Right, sod this. Let's go back the way we came. Right, I can't get that rope. Oh, and I can't unlock that either, because I've used my key. Ah, oh, ah, oh, referee, right, okay. Oh, see, he skidded off the end then. Oh, he's a jackass. Panama Jackass, that's his name. Right, so we have to go this way then. So where the hell... Oh, how, how? How is, how is it doing that? Oh, I can still jump. Oh. I, I, <laughs> this, you know, sometimes you can have, um, I wonder if I can run it at a slower speed. No, I don't think I can. That's disappointing. It feels like he needs to run slower. He's just a bit excited. He's like throwing himself off parapets and shit like that. Come on, fella. Pull yourself together. It's not... It's. I mean, I mean, yes, I am controlling it. Yes, yes, it is me. But it's also really difficult to control because he moves like shit off a stick. Where can I jump over him? Not there. Oh, every single time? What's, what is wrong with this fella? Uh, so, Monazuma's Revenge has just has had a, a, a... Like a high-def remake, and the guy who, who created it put in all the things that he wanted to put into the game that Parker Brothers took out. Um, and it is available on Steam. And, you know, I, I can't say I'm not tempted. As long as he doesn't run like ding shit off the bloody sides. I wasn't going to come this way. Oh. Does that mean I can walk through snakes if I've got that? Oh, okay. Am I going to wish that I had that later on? Oh, we're back here again. And I'm a cloud of freaking smoke again. Oh, I can't move. Right, I can't move left or right off here. I have to jump straight away. Oh, how, how am I going to... Stop laughing. This is nuts. Right, both buttons do jump. Oh. 
Can't jump over the fire that way. So. <laughs> now. What is my point here? Why? Why? Oh, it's following me. And now I need a blue key. Bastard. So I have two sordy things. Now, what do we think about going this way? We think that the snake will kill you. Kill you bad. Oh, look at that one there. Right, so we know that I can't f fall because I fall any distance. I die horribly. So how am I supposed to approach this one? Do we approach it from the other side? Is that is that why? What happens... If I jump onto the pole, can I do I slide down that pole? I mean I've died lots. It's not gonna really matter if I just die some more, is it? Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh no. How disappointing was that? But I die if I hit those. Or do I die if I fall onto them? Ah. Oh. Maybe I... Oh. oh. Okay. Right. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Do you know what I'm going to do? I am going to put Montezuma's Revenge on Revisit and maybe we we might um, when we come round to doing a revisit we might see if we can find it on a different system and maybe it doesn't run like ding shit and maybe it's easier to um, control and stuff like that and I might have a look and see if it's on Steam. I might get it on Steam. It's um, it's just that that that. Can you imagine? This was on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Can you imagine? I I cannot. Um, but that that was Montezuma's Revenge. Not horrible. Quite enjoyed that. Uh, okay, so now. We have. We haven't featured it in any <sighs> sizable way, but we have played a little bit of Mr. Do uh, on the show. In main fact, it might have been our last Clecovision um, because Mr. Do was one of the Clecovision titles that was very similar um, to, uh, to the arcade version. Um, let me just reference the um, cheeky chat room. They, uh, I, I was much younger and nimbler back then, but I didn't play Montezuma back then. Um, I've, I don't think I've ever played that game. I think I mixed it up with Tutankhamun, which I used to have, which get a similar vibes, but Tutankhamun was more um, mazy based. Um, so there you go. Uh, anyway, Mr. Do. So, we have played a little bit of Mr. Do. Well, we might come back to Mr. Do a little bit. Uh, but Mr. Do had some spin-offs. And uh, we're going to play one of them now. We're going to play Mr. Do's Castle. Um, where are you, Mr. Do's Castle? There you are. So, um, I can't remember. I'm sure I played it in 
the arcades. Don't think I've ever played the ClecoVision version. Definitely had Mr. Do. Uh, I used to love Mr. Do. Um, but I can't can't say that I've played this, so let's see what we're going to get. Press fire button to begin. Okay, so that's Mr. Do. I assume we have to... Do we bang them out? Oh, we do bang them out. Oh, you see, Montezuma's Revenge is currently only a couple of quid on um, on Steam. I think even I would pay that. So this looks like we're... Um, oh. Looks like we're going to die. Um, so what have we got here? We've got, um, don't have a jump. We've got, and we can move the ladders from side to side. And I guess the point is to. Let's try that. Okay, so... Oh! Do I need to get to the top? I do. I need to get to the top. Now. Oh. Are they bad guys? Oh, oh there, Leslie. So is that like the Pac-Man thing when you get the keys, they change into somewhere else? Um, I would like the option to jump, perhaps. I'll keep doing that. So we're here to collect cherries then, it looks like. I get off this ladder. Oh, there we go. Okay, yes, clear the cherries, that's the whole point. So obviously you have to do it behind you or else you're uh, trapped. Even it with your armor. Disappointing. Go oh, off, I was gonna die then. Uh, nope. It's got some load runner vibes and uh, not load yeah load runner vibes to it hasn't it really oh so when you take away all of them they um they don't fall through the holes anymore. Mm. But you 
can kill them by dropping bricks on them. Alrighty then. Take just that one more to get. Um, shit. Should I? Ah, now you see these guys in Mr. Do. Oh, oh, unfair. Wow. Um, yeah, you get the uh, the word, the letters from extra, and you get an extra life when you get them. Um, so, what time are we looking at? Can we do another one? Yeah, why not? Oh, I tell you what, let's not because we do have other games. Um, it's possible we might do um, a Mister Do. And games like Mr. Do episode? I think there's only probably the two games off the top of my head. I'm somebody somebody will correct me in the comments if there is more. But it does feel a game that was quite good. Um We'll find some way of bringing uh, bringing it back in. We'll 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 play we'll play some more Mr. Do or Mr. Do's Castle at some point. Um, but another sequel to another arcade game. As we get to the halfway point, or slightly over the halfway point, is this one. And so, uh, most of you will remember Qbert, the uh, the sweary, schnozzle faced dude. Um, and this is the sequel. To that, and it's called Cubic Cubes, um, or Cubit Two, depending on the screen you're looking at. Um, so we've got. We know what we're doing with Cubit. What are we doing with Cubit Cubes? Let's find out. Match all three sides. Oh shit! <laughs> Okay. I think I'm trying to draw a line of green squares. Does that seem to be right to you? Yes, yes I am. All right. And by green squares, obviously I mean green cubes. So how am I gonna, oh I see. Seems to be the right thing. It's playing the sort of tunes that I'm doing the right thing. away then, didn't I? Ooh, nearly got me now. So 
I assume I get better score if I can get more than one line at once. Which is going to need thinking about, isn't it? Obviously. Oh. Okay. Not 100% what happened there. So are we starting again? Well, it's just a bit harder. Okay. My bonus time, my time is going to run out in a minute. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. I think we'll have another go at that. Oh, we'll, uh, we'll restart it then. We'll have another go in it. Bad looks of it. Now, I did have Cubert. I, I do remember playing Cubert a lot on my Clicker Vision. Didn't get away fast enough. Come on, how do you get this to the... Uh... Why won't it turn into a... Carried away again. I've jumped on it from every different direction now, so come on. It's not having it, is it, that one? Oh, he says, just as it changed. So, right, if they have a yellow face facing me, oh, then jumping down makes them the cube. So we have to get them so that the yellow, look, cube. Cube. So, how do we get that? Oh, whoa, that's not right.
Dickhead. We used to hold our joysticks at an angle when we were playing Cuba. And get the, uh, the isometric movements right. So obviously the colours of the cube have changed. So does that mean... Three colours now. What's going on? Tricolor. I was dead then. Dead now. I've not worked out the sequence for these ones. Ah, oh, now I have. Because uh, I've just realised that that tells you what the sequence is. Ah, oh, see? The longer you play. So we need to get them blue, blue faced forward. Uh, put green on top. Like that. In Cuba, you used to have little escape flying saucers. But you don't in this game, by the looks of it. Um, I'm disappointed that now the, near the end, I've just kind of worked out what I'm supposed to be doing. Like that. I'm surprised we got as far as we did. Um, <laughs> there you go. Cubit's cubes. With a qu. Oh dear. Um, right. So now we're going to um, go to our our second Sunrise Software Inc. game. This is called Roll Overture. Suspect it has something to do with music. Good old copyright free music. Okay. What are we doing? What's going on? Oh, holy crap. Okay, so. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. I can't even do pause. So, I think, do I need to get... I can't interact with any of these things. Oh, I can interact. I could interact with that, but now I can't. So, I need to do something to open that, don't I? How do I... Oh, I don't fall through there. How do I open the A? So what what does that do then? That opens E. I don't want it to be 
E. Do I? No, because A is flashing. We don't want it to. Uh oh. Right, so. Then. Super confused. Let's press number one, see if that works. Nope. So, nope, that opens D. So how can I open... And that closed D. And once you do that, you can't... Okay, so but we need to find where we need to shut. No, no, it's closed. Wow, this is really difficult. So we've got levers then, and the levers open things. I don't get. I mean, what do they do? That just did something. That does something. That doesn't. We need to open A. Keep dropping through there and dying. Uh, don't like it. <laughs> that seemed really complicated for a game for kids to play. Uh, granted, hold my hand up. I've not read the instructions. But I wouldn't have done that as a kid anyway. I would have just plugged it in and gone for it. It's, it's very scratched there, Nutty Cluster. Super scratched. Uh, uh, right, so let's play the uh, third game from the company from earlier on. Um, Interphase. Now, I remember the name and I remember that picture, so I'm certain... I, I've been, I'm, I'm almost certain my friend had this because there was a few of us. We once one of us bought a Clecovision. We were like, everyone got one, and then we all got different games and just shared them around because obviously they were expensive. Um, and I recognise this game. This game's called, as you can read on the screen, Sewer Sam. And I believe that guy on the right is Sam. And I'm fairly certain there's going to be some sewer action. Let's have a look, shall we? Don't fall in the manhole. Oh, right. Look. 
It's a, it's an early doom. Mm. Can't let them bite you. How'd you get in there? Oh, oh, climbing the walls, mama. Oh no, didn't want to be in this one. Spider's web, well known for its paralyzing properties. Oh, I was hoping we'd have some bloody... Oh. He's dead. It's quite serious. Can we go again? Can we go again? Can we bugger We need to reset it. Let's have another go. Not the game I anticipated, I'll be honest. I mean, you hear that scream and then you hear, Oh no! Very different. As I only have six bullets, it seems that I should avoid these. Yeah, because I've no bullets left now. So, we're in a bit of a maze then. I don't know how to avoid the webs. I thought you could shoot them at one point. A bloody shark! Now I'm fairly certain we used to have guides and... Oh, I've run out of air. Oh no, have I? Oh. No, I got to the boss level. That's what I did. Blech. Can't get in. <laughs> For Pete's sake, come on. Oh. I think that's how we get away from the webs. We jump in the water. Weirdly. And then we get out before the crocodile gets us, obviously. Oh. Oh. You walk slower there. Oh no, the web got me just as I dived in.
Go! Bugger. Um, okay. There you go. Sewer Sam! Right, we're down to our last couple of games. That's two. Last couple of games. Um, so, this one, technically, should have been earlier on in the alphabetical list. Um, because it's called Super Donkey Kong Jr. Except I don't ever remember a game called Super, Super Donkey Kong Jr. on the Clack Vision. It was just Donkey Kong Jr. So it piqued my curiosity. It made me go, what? And part of me does wonder if I'm actually playing you a hack today with this. Um, but we'll find out, shall we? Um, so if you're not aware, and um, why would you not be? Um, Donkey Kong Jr. is um, Donkey Kong's baby. Come to save his papa. Cause that from the clutches of that evil Mario from Donkey Kong One, or, or Jump Man from Donkey Kong One, actually. I don't see anything different, particularly from. Um, Remember how many screens there are in this one? Oh, it's just the two. But there's three in the arcade game, so. Oh, that's the sound that it makes when you die. How you do it? See. Oh. The um. I'm sure there was easy ways to do this. Cannonballing into the water is not one of them. Okay. I'm sure you could catch a chain at one point. Ooh. 
Oh, no. Ooh, little bastard. I thought I was going to get it then. things to watch too many things dude um so there you go donkey kong jr not sure what's well why it was listed as super because it plays how i remember it this is one that i definitely had in my collector vision um weird how strange uh so let's go to our final um final game tonight a little bit worried that this one is a super controller game in which case we're proper balked but this is called victory well that's right nutty cluster they perhaps they did just like it so much they thought it was super uh, okay victory by exidy so Let's find out. It's just as much of a revelation to me as it is to you. Let's see. Found the shield button. Found the kill everything on the screen button. Don't have any movement at all. So, disappointingly, that we're ending with this one. Um, this is definitely <laughs> super controller. Because uh, I don't have any control over anything. None of the buttons do exactly what I expect. And I think you spin this. I think it's a, a, the, it uses the spinner. After me saying I can't remember any games that use the spinner. Um, so, so... I think that's it for tonight then. Wow. <sighs> Arse. Hearts. Um, okay, well I'll tell you what then. Let's let's do the wheel, shall we? This is what happens when you don't play them first. When when we're we did discovering together as as I like to think. Um we we neither of us know what we're gonna get. And yes, I could play them before we before I stream, and look like, well, I, he knows how to play it. Yeah, I could do that, but it spoils the fun. Um, you want a picture of a wheel, don't you? There you go. There you go. Let me just make sure I've taken off tonight. I have play. Uh, yep. Yes. Uh, so here we are. Oh, there we are. I mean, here, here we are. It's the wheel. Um. Let's see what we're going to play next week. Oh, no. Okay, so uh, all the way through, you've seen moderator Nutty Cluster uh, giving me grief. And uh, next week's show... She's picking the games. It's her choice. Moderator's choice of what we play next week. So I hope she picks some good games. That would be um, 
That would be nice if she did that. Um, poof. She has been known to not pick good games, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, in the past, she's picked um, Mega Drive games. We did a whole run where she just picked Mega Drive games. Um, but we do have unplayed Mega Drive also on the wheel, so she might, you know, want to think about that while she, you know, picks the games. Um, and we also we leave Moderator's Choice on the wheel. But we'll see. Uh, so, there we go. Next week, um, it's as much of a mystery to you as it is to me. <laughs> we'll have to have meetings and things. Um, so, thank you. Thank you for joining us for uh, uh, some some Collectivision games. Some, some weird games. And um, you can email us if you want. If you want to email us, you can email us. It's uh, retro at snugradio.co.uk retro at snugradio.co.uk um, that's the website snugradio.co.uk easy to remember uh, look us then it's in the title of the show we're also everywhere as Snug Radio yes we are um, if you watch the video on YouTube you might know that we, we broadcast oh, broadcast we stream live on Twitch at um, at seven o'clock on a Monday, so you could catch it without any of the bits cut out if you joined us on Twitch. Um, if you're watching it on Twitch, there's an edited version on YouTube for you to watch with graphics and titles and you know all the mistakes cut out and things. Uh, so oh yeah, well UK time, yes, yes. Thank you, Nutty Gluster, for keeping me on track. It's seven o'clock UK time. 7 o'clock in the evening, UK time. 1,900 hours. Um, so, yes, we're on YouTube and Twitch. That's how we get out. Uh, we're also on Facebook, Twitter and TikTok. As Snug Radio. Um, probably most active on Facebook. But we do, you know, we occasionally post TikTok videos and stuff. Meh, yeah, meh. Yeah. Um... And if you really want to chat and you really want to get in touch, then visit us on our Discord. The link is in this video somewhere uh, in the show notes of for it or wherever you're finding it. There'll be the link. And um, if you would review us, comment, share, like, ring the bell. You, all those things that you're supposed to do that would be cool it would be good to um, to get out to a bigger audience that'd be nice and they've got 62 episodes six, sorry 62 <laughs> 66 other episodes to catch up on but they don't have to watch episode 1 possibly with episode 2 either oh oh no oh um, right well that's enough from me uh, we'll be back at the same time, same place next week for more retro fun. Um, I've been Matt. This has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Play something retro. Goodbye. Goodbye.